Shalom, Walm, Mesharala. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to your Halabashim Yahushai. That were honest to the apostles, you know, and the elders of great mills will not rule well. You know, the apostles, you know, that give us this truth through the spirit and power of your Halabashim Yahushai. The, you know, and uh, you know, I'm a single honor to you brothers that are doing this work in sincerity and in truth, man. You know, the brothers, you know, that are going hard in this thing, man. Okay. Um, I just want to get into, you know, a, a quick topic about the, uh, you know, about, about um, Esau, you know, and the, and, uh, you know, all the other heathen nations going into captivity, you know, and receiving double of what they've given us, man, because, you know, it's one thing when these heathen nations put us into slavery, you know, but it's another one, you know, when we put them, you know, into slavery, because, you know, we're not all created equal, man, like it tells you in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, man, you know, we're not all created equal, so when you put the children of Israel into slavery, man, the Most High is going to fuck you up, man, you know, and that's just what the scripture says, man, because we are the children of the Lord, man, and you're not. You know, so you're going to receive more than what we've received, man. In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to F you guys all up, man. Okay, because we usually just talk about Esau, but we also have to push out that vibration that these heathen nations are also going to go into captivity, man. You know, because it tells you, you know, in the scriptures that, you know, all of our enemies, you know, we're going to bind them up in chains, man. You know, every single one of them, man. Okay, but I just want to get into this real quick, you know. And then, uh, you know, and then, you know, we'll go on from there. But um, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. That's Esau, man. You know, Esau basically says, you know, um, you know, um, it happened many years ago. You know, it's just whatever, man. You know, water under the bridge, man. You know, but the scripture is, you know, the Lord says that he, he you know, the Lord, the Lord, you know, he, um, uh, you know, um, uh, requires that which is past, man, okay? And the scriptures also says that, you know, a thousand years to us is, is only one day to the Lord, man, you know? So what happened to us, you know, you know, um, in the time of um, slavery, the Lord still remembers that, man, you know? And the Lord is actually pushing out that vibration, you know, out there, you know, to rouse, you know, Jacob, man, because, you know, Esau, he is trying to do away with slavery, man. Okay, but Yahab Hashem Shai, he's gonna put that, you know, I'm a remembrance back in our in our minds, man. But um, it says whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, right, man. Because Esau, you know, when when the so-called white man and these nations, when they put us into slavery, they thought that the Lord was actually on their side, man. You know, they actually thought that the Lord was dealing with them, man, you know. But the only reason why the Lord let that happen is just, you know, so that we learn, man. You know, because that's our punishment for disobeying Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, so the Lord put us, you know, the Lord, you know, He put us, you know, um, through slavery and all that hell so that we learn and we obey, you know, His commandments, statutes, you know, and laws, man. You know, but that's the only reason. But these heathen nations, you know, they became so fucking proud and they thought that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is actually with them. But it says, um... And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. That's right, man. You know, that's what, you know, that's exactly how, you know, Esau, you know, Esau made all of his money off of what? You know, I'm a slavery, man. And they benefit, you know, on that today. You know, you know, Jake is still going through hell, you know. But it says, For I am rich, and their own shepherd pitied them not. That's right, man. You know, they don't think that the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, he's going to come back and deliver us, man. You know, but. The Lord, you know, the Lord, you know, the Lord did not forget about us, man, you know, and, you know, Esau, he destroyed us by taking away our nationality, man, okay, so, so, you know, so, like, you know, going back into history, you know, whenever, you know, I'm a, we fucked up, you know, we called on the name of Yahab Bashim al you know, but on this side, man, you know, we don't even know the name, you know, until now, man, you know, until now, you know, the Lord gave us his name, which shows you that the Lord is, is coming back to deliver us because we're going to call on his name on that day of destruction, man. Okay. But, uh, you know, I'll bring out another, you know, I'm a precept. Um, this is the, this is the, this is the book of, uh, 
2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6, it says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Now, you know, this goes against what these, you know, I'm a pastors, you know, you know, and these people in the churches say, man, because, you know, they all want the Lord to just be about love, man. But, you know, they also say that, you know, aren't we all created, you know, in in the most highest image? So how is it that sometimes, you know, you feel hate? You know, and you hate, you know, you have hatred towards someone, but the Most High Yahweh Shimon Shah himself, he can't hate, man. That, you know, that doesn't make any sense. But it says that seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High, you know, that's justice, man. You know, when you ask these so called, you know, fucking, uh, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, you know, these, you know, I'm a other nations and the so called white man, if they believe in justice, they always say yes, man. But when you bring out, you know, I'm a slavery and this and that, you know, they, you know, they run away from that, man, because they know deep down in their spirit that they're guilty for what they did, you know. But the Lord is, you know, the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Shimon Shai, you know, and the elect, you know, they did not forget about that, man, you know, because, you know, there's going to be payback, man, you know, for what you've done, you know, you're going to pay back, man, you know, you're going to have to pay back for that. But it said, seeing it is a righteous thing. With, with Yahab Ashina Ashai to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And who troubles us, man? You know? Two thirds of our of our own people trouble us. You know, these heathen nations. You saw the devil. You know? Everyone goes against us, man. You know? But that goes to show you that, you know, on this side, you know, we will go through a lot of hell. But, you know, it's only going to make the kingdom, you know, so much better, man. You know? Because. We went through so much hell that way it makes the kingdom a lot better to enjoy, man. You know, if you know, it would not make sense, you know, for us to live nice here and then go into the kingdom and live nice again, man. You know, there's no balance in that. And it said that the Lord, you know, the Lord deals with a just balance, man. Okay. But uh, this is the book of uh, Revelation 18 and 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. Now that's, you know, destruction, man. You know, death and destructions and what, you know. And, you know, all the hell that we're going to put upon Esau and these other nations, man. We're going to do double unto them because, you know, they they fucked us up, man. You know, they fucked us up. But it said that reward her as she rewarded you and double unto her. Double according to her works in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double, man. Now, that's what's that's what's going to happen, man. You know, that's what's going to happen, you know, and and we can't wait, man. You know, we can't wait until that day, you know, comes, man, because as of right now, man, you know, we're just fishers, man. You know, we're fishers, you know, and we're harmless as doves, man. But there's going to come to a time where, where the Lord is going to give us that spiritual power and we're going to be hunters, man, and we're going to do a lot of damage. But this is uh, Isaiah 33 and 1. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, to deal 